Hey everybody, Aaron Herman of The Open Scroll here. Today is Monday, January 9th, just a little before 10 a.m., and we're now in the 16th day of the 10th month on the Lord's calendar, and I'm here with Bob Schlenker. Hey everybody, we got uh, something I'm pretty excited about to share with you today. I've been uh, in the chiasma zone for uh, a lot of the last week. I've been uh, spending time in the Word, and I've developed a couple of things in the book of Romans, and uh, it's led me to update my production of Romans 11, which you see here on our homepage in the most recently updated section. My last update to that was this morning. And in the most recently added, you'll see here, I got two of them. Uh, Romans 1, 17 through 32, including Romans 12, 1 to 2, and the book of Romans and its exquisite wrapper. And uh, this is the one that I'm going to talk about now. And it was because of the work that I've been doing in Romans 1 for oh, a month, probably more than a month, and uh, getting that dialed in. And in the interest of that, I was led to take a look at the expanded scope so I could really understand how to manage the first chapter. And a lot of the first chapter is involved in the outer wrapper relating to the last chapters of the book of Romans. And so I set about the work of putting that in order, which I did. And then in the process, that led me to... Um, a slight adjustment in the Romans 11 that I had uh, produced a long time ago, really. And uh, it led me to update that somewhat, making another pass through, and I'm quite well satisfied with it now. So what we're going to present is on this page, and you'll also find links to it in our interactive uh, directory here. We've got a growing catalog. So the book of Romans and its exquisite wrapper. Now, I haven't included the entire book here um, as far as every word. What I've done is I've just condensed some of the sections here, just uh, describing it and saying what the span of verses is. But I have included a fair amount of text. It's fairly large. And so as we're working our way through, if you've got the capacity in uh, another device to open it up and follow along, uh, as you research this, you'll find it uh, helpful, very helpful. And I'll show you how to navigate it as we work through it. So instead of reading the entire thing through, which there's really no point in my doing that now, but you may want to do that, read through all this first in your own Bible or um, from this version that I've got here. This is the NASB. There's not a word different. It's strictly every word in order, nothing added, nothing subtracted. So I have some clickable events. I have some commentary that I've keyed to these bars, and these bars represent a wrapper of a certain amount of text. Smaller bars on the further right, smaller amounts of text. And then they're uh, graduated in their nesting all the way up to the first bar here. And you'll notice that the first bar is since all this is highlighted in blue here goes all the way through to the end and i'm gonna ask aaron to read the commentary that's associated with each one of these bars the structure of the entire book of romans is thus what is written in the first 11 chapters is repeated in the remaining five chapters in reverse order as a two plus two chiasm now this is how I've presented it in the blue. So you can see it's darker blue on top. That's 
representing the first 11 chapters, which includes a section of 117 through 839 and 91 through 1135. And uh, this is a, a rather extensive set of uh, text. But what we find here is that this really is a, a two plus two chiasm. And we show that in the next level. And if I shrink this down, so as I hover over the second column of bars here, we're seeing a two plus two parallelism. And so we have right now the A and A prime selected, very, very large. And then down here, we have the B and B prime. So this parallelism has the A, a huge amount of text, and the B, very small. And now we can see on the third level, when I hover my mouse there, we have what's up on top and on the very bottom highlighted. This would be the A and A prime. Moving down to the B and B prime, the C and C prime, D and D prime, E and E prime, F and F prime. And when we compare them, we'll be able to do some collapsing. So once we get past that scale, everything else is far more localized. So I'm going to take this opportunity to expand this back a few levels. And what we have is uh, another commentary bar. Second level in. Aaron, would you read this one for us? What is written in Romans 1.1 1, 1 through 11.35 is repeated in Romans 12.1 through 16.26 in reverse order as a 6 plus 6 chiasm. The Companion Bible also represents this as a 6 plus 6 chiasm, but there are a few notable departures from that version. Many refinements have been made through a deeper exploration of the more granular symmetrical patterns. With the insight provided by the refinements, the elegance of the author's work becomes even more apparent. And this is a beautiful thing, very inspiring. Now I'm clicking on the B. What is written in 1136B is repeated in 1627. This pairing impacts the structure of the entire book on its most fundamental level, highlighting the exalted message of giving all the glory to the author forever. The Companion Bible differs by including the whole of chapter 11, verse 36, while my analysis reveals that 1136a belongs with the previous section. Which is why I only include 1136b here. So if I do some collapsing, I can bring that up. And there we go. There's the comparison. We have this fragment associated with this, the companion. This is the last verse in the book of Romans. And this is the last verse fragment of the section that's repeated. So this, this would be the A and B, the A prime and the B prime. And it's pretty obviously related to him be the glory forever. Amen to the only wise God through Jesus Christ, be the glory forever. Amen. It's wonderful. What a great way to highlight this special book. And this also calls out chapter 11 as uh, something of significance. It's really emphasized and for good reason. We're not going to get into that in this particular study, but if you're curious, you can look at the work yourself that I did for the interactive version of Romans chapter 11. Now, 
I'm going to click on the third column up at the top here. Aaron? What is written in Romans 1, verses 1 through 6, is repeated in chapter 16, verses 25 and 26, in the same order as a 5 plus 5 parallelism. The Companion Bible also pairs 1, verses 1 through 6, with chapter 16, 25 and 26, but no further granularity is offered. The themes are compared in this way. In chapter 1, verses 1 through 6, the Gospel, promised before by the prophets and revealed by them, and never hidden. In chapter 16, verses 25 and 26, the mystery, never before promised or revealed, but kept secret through all the ages. Thanks, Aaron. So, I'm going to need to do some expanding here, and we're going to also do some collapsing, and we're going to take a look at this 5 plus 5 that we've got, which is fantastic. So I'll expand that, and then I'm going to collapse the series here. Now we can see fairly close together what we want to compare. So this line compares to the first line. So what we have is a parallelism. It's repeating in the same order. One, two, three. They're single lines. And then we have this expanded section matching to a single line. And this expanded section also matching to a single line. So in comparing these lines, Paul, a bondservant of Christ Jesus, called as an apostle, now to him who's able to establish you. And so we're identifying um, the agent, right? Set apart for the gospel of God, which he promised beforehand, according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery, which has been kept secret for long ages past, but now is manifested. Hmm. Hmm. Promised beforehand, kept secret for long ages past. Brilliant. We got the gospel and we got the revelation of the mystery, which is now manifested. And this is a wonderful thing. And we can still enjoy it today. And I'm really grateful to be in this age where we've got such incredible blessing. Now in the C&C prime of this collection we've got through his prophets in the holy scriptures and by the scriptures of the prophets aaron you, you see a match there i do indeed sir ah yeah that one's kind of a gift which is very useful in uh kind of getting a guide and uh, helping work these things out and here we have according to that I highlighted in blue, which is a the theme here. So, according to the commandment of the eternal God, down in the D prime. But uh, let's look at what we've got up here. We have a chiasm. It's a two plus two. And in the inner part, we have a parallelism, two plus two who was born of a descendant of David, who was declared the Son of God with power by the resurrection from the dead. Different qualifications here. But, uh, yeah, it's the Son of God who was born. According to the flesh, he was born a descendant of David, according to the spirit of holiness. Yeah declared the Son of God with power by the resurrection from the dead according to the spirit of holiness. That's just beautiful. What a, what a wonderful highlighting there. Concerning his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Yeah. There's the subject. Very clear. Very beautiful. Very simple. 
Then in this next part, the the last of the five, the E and E prime. Once again, it's a single line, and the E prime has been made known to all the nations, leading to obedience of faith. And here in the E section, we have the obedience of faith among all the Gentiles, the Gentiles, the nations. That's an obvious match. And here we have another parallelism, a two plus two. Through whom we, among whom you also, have received grace and apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith among all the Gentiles for his name's sake, are the called of Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's a match. It's beautiful. So we can collapse these if we like and then move on to the next one down. And here we have two lines of text compared all the way down to that large section. Aaron? What is written in 1-7 is repeated in chapter 15, verse 33, through chapter 16, verse 24, in the same order, even doubled. It has the form of a 2 plus 2 plus 2 parallelism. You may explore the interactive text in your browser to verify the symmetrical pairings. These may be labeled according to the standard convention of notation. A, 1 through 7A, B, 1, 7B, a prime, 1533 through 1620A, B prime, 1620B, A double prime, 1621 through 23, B double prime, 1624. The companion Bible version differs slightly, neglecting to include the last verse of chapter 15. It offers no further granularity in any of the included domain. The themes are compared in this way. 1-7, salutation. 16, 1-24, salutation. And that's a very apt description. So we're going to explore that. And you'll see here how they, how they align. And this is basically a doubling down here. That's why it's a 2 plus, we got 2 up here, plus 2 plus 2. Here's in the dark blue, and this down here. And so what we find is that this A up here is repeated down below in an A prime and A double prime. And these single lines are uh, easier to match up as we're hovering over the B and the B prime and double prime. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The grace of our Lord Jesus be with you. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Beautiful. Very nice match. And here, with this address, we have quite an expansion. We're going to take a close look at how that works. What we have in this larger portion is, as you can see, a chiasm, a two plus two. And the single lines here, now the God of peace be with you all, amen. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. And you might think, mm, that's peculiar. But you'll see, it is a match, and they compare the God of peace in verse 33, the God of peace in verse 20. Yeah, and there's a promise here, and it involves grace, and uh, it's an awesome thing. So here in this section, we have basically, uh, I've compacted this, included it all in one, instead of trying to break it out. 
but it's greetings, specific greetings, and it begins with a commendation. And uh, it's matched down below here to this section, which has uh, another very nice form that's expanded, and it's greetings of different kinds. And so we have one, two, three. So we got a three plus three parallelism. And the first A and A prime, these are single lines. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the churches of Christ greet you for the report of your obedience has reached to all. Yeah, all the churches of Christ. Therefore, I am rejoicing over you which in a sense does align with greeting one another with a holy kiss. And uh, that could expand into another chiasm, of course. So in the next pairing of uh, B and B prime, now I urge you, brethren, but I want you to. So there's some desire being expressed in that simple matchup. And now the third part's expanded. So... It's encapsulated in the, the C prime, be wise in what is good and innocent in what is evil. And here we have uh, an explanation, basically, uh, detail. And in this section, we have a two plus two parallelism. Keep your eye on and turn away from them. Interesting comparison there, right? And here we have another structure that's a chiasm nested within. Those who cause dissensions and hindrances, and by their smooth and flattering speech, they deceive the hearts of the unsuspecting. That's a match. Contrary to the teaching which you learned, for such men are slaves, not of our Lord Christ, but of their own appetites. Yeah. Contrary to the teaching. Absolutely. So that is a beautiful section that matches up very simply. And uh, down below here in the A double prime, we have a very nice, simple expression. That's uh, kind of self-contained here is another chiasm. Timothy, my fellow worker, greets you. And so does Lucius and Jason and Sosipater, my kinsman. Erastus, the city treasurer, greets you. And Cordus, the brother. So we compare my kinsman and the brother. And, uh, of course, there's the greeting, which is very similar. My fellow worker, the city treasurer, I, Tertius, who write this letter, greet you in the Lord. Gaius, host to me, and to the whole church, greets you. So there's a relationship here with the letter and the letter writer. Love it. It's wonderful. The symmetrical beauty. Outstanding. So as I expand this one. And this one, we now have a smaller text up on top and a larger text on the bottom. And how do they compare? Aaron? What is written in chapter 1, verses 8 through 10, is repeated in chapter 15, verses 24 through 32, in the same order as a 2 plus 2 parallelism. The companion Bible version differs significantly here, pairing the truncated text of 1 verses 8 through 10a with the extremely truncated and slightly shifted text of 15 verses 30 through 33. Again, no further granularity is offered in any of the included domain. And I took the effort to work this out so I could have confidence in the division and so I could see what else the Lord might um, be revealing. It's uh, 
It's better than jigsaw puzzling. More rewarding. Although puzzle joy is a wonderful thing too. <laughs> so we have uh, another structural relationship between um, chapter one here and chapter 15. And it's, as you can see, another two plus two parallelism. And these are more easily compared in the, the B and B prime. So instead of being self-contained, this requires its remote companion to be completed. And here we see that it's a chiasm that spans across the chasm of the chapters. And this is a beautiful thing. If perhaps now at last by the will of God, by the will of God, and find refreshing rest in your company... I may succeed in coming to you, that I may come to you in joy. That's awesome. Easily compared. And now in the A and A prime, the A is a 2 plus 2 parallelism. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for you all, for God whom I serve in my spirit and the preaching of the gospel of his Son, B and B prime, because your faith is being proclaimed throughout the whole world, is my witness as to how unceasingly I make mention of you, always in my prayers, making request. And what is a witness? Being proclaimed throughout the whole world. Yeah, that's a witness. Their faith is being proclaimed throughout the whole world. That's awesome. What a witness that is to us today still. So as we consider the A prime, what we have is another structure that's a two plus two parallelism. And the first part is completed in the second. It's a chiasm. Whenever I go to Spain, for I hope to see you in passing and to be helped on my way there by you. I will go on by way of you we have the expressions in blue for easy comparison to Spain. I know that when I come to you, I will come in the fullness of the blessing of Christ. There's definitely a match there. Comparing the B and B prime. When I have first enjoyed your company for a while, therefore, when I have finished in the orange you can compare those very easily. Therefore, when I finished this, and I put my seal on this fruit of theirs. Now we have expanded sections, and they correspond to each other too. And they're not structurally compared very easily. So I took the opportunity to do a selection here that makes it a little more obvious. I do the blue comparison for local, and I did a green comparison for a little more remote matchup, which you can also do some comparing. We've got the service and serving there. We got to the saints and the saints. And here we have um, a matchup that will uh, become more obvious as you get familiar with this. So we have these two matching up in the green. But now I am going to Jerusalem serving the saints. And here, going to Jerusalem and his service there, right? And so we have a 2 plus 2 parallelism that I may be rescued, and that my service for Jerusalem may prove acceptable from those who are disobedient in Judea to the saints. Yeah, there's a match. Up above here. But now I'm going to Jerusalem serving the saints for the poor among the saints in Jerusalem. 
very obvious matching there. And uh, a single line in the B for Macedonia and Achaia have been pleased to make a contribution. And in the B prime of this parallelism, we have the pleased to do so and pleased to make a contribution. It's the contribution that uh, is the subject here that they're pleased about. And in this, we have another two plus two parallelism, kind of a trend. Yeah. So they were pleased to do so for if the Gentiles have shared in their spiritual things. Yep. And this is why they're pleased to do so because they have, and they're indebted to them. They're indebted. There we go. Obvious matching to minister to them also in material things, which is what the contribution is. Material things. So when we compare that to this, this is really uh, very closely related. And we have another chiasm, a two plus two. Now I urge you, brethren, to strive together with me in your prayers to God for me. And that's, that's what he's urging them. By our Lord Jesus Christ and by the love of the Spirit. Nicely matched. So once again, another section Brilliant stuff. The author does a spectacular work here. Aaron? What is written in chapter 1, verses 11 through 13, is repeated in chapter 15, verses 22 and 23, in reverse order, as a 2 plus 2 chiasm. The companion Bible version differs by pairing the slightly expanded text of 1, verses 10b through 13, with a much more expanded text of chapter 15, verses 22 through 29. Again, no further granularity is offered in any of the included domain. The Companion Bible offers this as a description. Paul's desire to visit them. A description that better fits the refined version is thus. Paul longed to visit, but was prevented from coming. So as we explore this pairing, we see a chiasm. And it's single line down on the bottom with the primes. And uh, up on top here, they're pretty much self-contained because it's a three plus three parallelism. Interesting, right? So let's address these first. We have in the A and A prime, the A prime is single line, but now with no further place for me in these regions. And since I have had for many years a longing to come to you, you see the green there, long to see you. Mm-hmm. Pretty obvious. And then in the B and B prime, B prime is verse 22. For this reason, I have often been prevented from coming to you. And in the blue up above have been prevented so far and in the orange come to you pretty obvious match up there across the big span and so uh as we focus on the a and b and their relationships we have for i long to see you so that i may impart some spiritual gift to you that you may be established and it matches up to his desire. I do not want you to be unaware, brethren, that often I have planned to come to you and have been prevented so far. And yeah, he wants to um, impart the spiritual gift so that they may be established. It's wonderful. And the B&B &B prime, that is that I may be encouraged together with you while among you. Be prime, so that I may obtain some fruit among you also. Very obviously match up. That's a gift. And then C and C prime, 
each of us by the other's faith, both yours and mine, even as among the rest of the Gentiles. And uh, so there's relationships. Wonderful. Nice match. So expanding the next section there. And collapsing these. Aaron? What is written in chapter 1, verses 14 through 16, is repeated in chapter 15, verses 13 through 21, in reverse order as a 3 plus 3 chiasm. Within the local context of 1, verses 14 through 16, the three components are repetitions. A, B, A prime, B prime, and A double prime, B double prime. The Companion Bible version differs only very slightly, truncating the first text. And this is a remarkable thing. It's a bit of a departure from the rest of the structure that we've been seeing. But here on this level, here we can see the 3 plus 3 chiasm. And because of the way that I've matched up all the blue locally and down below, we see that they're uh, very... Uh, interestingly woven together. And I've chosen to uh, highlight all three of these together in the A, B, and C because they share the same structure locally. And I'll walk you through that. But I also want to first show you here as I'm hovering over the A, the chiasm A prime single line down at the bottom. And here the B, B prime, B prime is a two line, like this two line of the B. And then in the C and C prime, this is where we have the expansion in the prime. And I've done a lot of highlighting here to make it easier to see these comparisons. And here as I hover over the A and A prime, to Greeks and to barbarians, and they are those who had no news of him, are they not? And they are those who have not heard the Greeks and barbarians. So that's pretty obvious. And then in the B and B prime, I am eager to preach the gospel. I aspired to preach the gospel. I have fully preached the gospel. Obviously matching. And here, I've done a similar comparison, and it's about the gospel and the power of God. And we have the gospel and the power of the Holy Spirit. And we have believing, believes, believing, pretty obviously matching up as well. So here, as we concern ourselves with the matching between the A, B, and C, we have uh, 2 plus 2 plus 2 parallelism. I am under obligation. So for my part, I am eager to preach the gospel. That's his part. He's obligated. For I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for salvation. And uh, yeah, that's totally a match. And in the, the B, B prime and B double prime, both to Greeks and to barbarians, both to the wise and the foolish, to you also who are in Rome. Among them are Greeks, barbarians, wise and foolish. And uh, to everyone. So yeah, to whom? To. And uh, who who's receiving? That's the subject here that's in common. So to everyone who believes to the Jew first and also to the Greek categories. It's wonderful. So here in this expanded C prime section, this is a, a further expansion into a one, two, three, four, five plus five parallelism. In the A and A prime, now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, ministering as a priest the gospel of God. Yep, that's how it's done. So that 
you will abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit, so that my offering of the Gentiles may become acceptable, sanctified by the Holy Spirit. That's a gift. And concerning you, my brethren, I myself also am convinced that you yourselves are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge, and able also to admonish one another. Therefore, in Christ Jesus, and this is how it's done, I have found reason for boasting. Yeah, which is how he is also convinced. In things pertaining to God. And what are those things? Well, they're being full of goodness, filled with all knowledge, and able also to admonish one another. It's beautiful to be able to compare these things. It's, you know, can give you some wonderful insight. It's very inspiring. And here in this pairing, but I have written very boldly to you on some points, so as to remind you again, for I will not presume to speak. Hmm. There's a contrast, right? Of anything except what Christ has accomplished through me. And uh, yeah, points to be reminded on. Those exact points. Because of the grace that was given me from God to be a minister of Christ Jesus to the Gentiles. Resulting in the obedience of the Gentiles by word and deed. Yeah, because of the grace that was given me from God. Yeah, by word and deed. And that's how that's exhibited. In the power of signs and wonders, in the power of the Spirit. Beautiful. So again, fantastic symmetry. Love it. So now what we have is my consolidation here. These are the descriptions given in the Companion Bible. Aaron? This is how the Companion Bible presents this large section of the book, with one small adjustment. Instead of beginning at chapter 1, verse 16b, it begins with chapter 1, verse 17. Beautiful. There you have it. Um, what a wonder, wonderful blessing. And what this accomplished for me, um, I already talked about two points uh, further clarification and refinement of my previous work on Romans chapter 11. And it allowed me to uh, kind of clip out the relevant section and isolate it in the first chapter so that I could complete that study, which I've also just posted online. And I hope to be uh, presenting on that shortly. Well, I hope you enjoyed this study. God bless you, everybody. Bye-bye.